here. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. They're totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture, right? I should right? take a picture to prove I'm still here. It's Plus, it's and I have to get my daily Keep selfie yourself. quota. Seriously, though. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. 
The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most ex- I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What? Did... Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I have my moment in the camera. I mean, everybody should take shots. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more document. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur.
You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always into the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special oh, picture. Friend Sarah told me that Oregon was going to be wet and cold every day coming to class. But it's like 75 degrees and I have to see the rain. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. To all of you, American girls in the movies, no one can tell where you are. China smiles and plastic blue. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. I wish I had an American girl. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Blackwell to mess around. It looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me.
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Hey girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Good to flow. Thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa, what the fuck? How, how can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow, from color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max. Diane Arvin. Still the same stupid there picture. Go, Keep it together, Why Max. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, torture, I'll know right? this is for real. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. 
The point Can remains I save that her? the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first... The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype... Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with Eddie? No, Max. They can't save that girl in the bathroom. I won't be bored. You suck. I can't you pick up?
Pick up your damn feet. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wowzer, so it's happening again! People trying to control me! You are go- Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying Nobody to control me! Nobody has a me. gun! I should do something else for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open. Oh, holy shit, I can't let this... I need a hammer to break it open. No, 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 no! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No! I need a hammer to break no, no, no. it open. Are people trying to control me? You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No! I need a hammer to break no, 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 it open! No. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh! Shit! No! No, 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 no! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people- No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um... Uh. Female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth.
You look a little stressed out. Are you? I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little stressed out. I just... Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason.
I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. So bizarro to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Let me guess, you want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But, you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple... Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my, you can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it. Uh... 
Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Clever. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. It'll happen. Karma doesn't play favorites. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott. Yes, he's... Somebody needs it. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. No need to go there now. <laughs> 